This is a tips video for Super Mega Baseball 3. I'm going to give you 7 tips that have helped me become a better Super Mega Baseball hitter. Control the zone. Your success rate in the zone is going to be much higher. This is because you achieve much better velocity and trajectory when hitting balls in the zone. Thus, your number one goal when hitting is to attack balls in the zone and to stay off of balls out of it. Know that the umpire calls everything accurately, so you don't have to worry about human error. Leave the reticle pre-pitch. This is going to give you a reliable frame of reference to judge the strike zone because you know you are dead center in it. It also allows you to get to everything in the zone without lashing clear from one end of the plate to the other, which takes time and will lower accuracy. Get slightly under the ball. As far as where to make contact on the ball, aim for just under the center of it. This will place some lift on it so you can drive it over infielders and over the outfield wall. Hit it where it's pitched. This means you ideally take balls away in the zone to the opposite field and pull balls thrown inside. To accomplish this, you swing a bit sooner on inside pitches and later on outside ones. Utilize charge swings. Power swings are always going to hit the ball harder as long as your charge is greater than 70. Contact swings are the equivalent of 60 to 70 charge. It varies within that range. Yes, it is more difficult to have to time a charge, but with practice, it is very beneficial. It helps with every player, no matter their stats. They may not have the power to drive the ball out very often, but hitting the ball harder is usually much better. There is a reason one of the spiciest advanced stats in use today is exit velocity. Time your charge. Begin the charge when a fastball will reach you just before 99 and off speed gets to you just after. This will average out to the most power. You should see a blue 80 plus number on fastballs and a red one on off speed. If you don't, adjust your timing. Get into the habit of keeping tabs on these numbers. Of course, you can also go for reads, but it is easier to focus on getting one timing that works. Watch the pitcher in your peripheral to help your timing. Find a point in his motion to be your cue to initiate the charge, but focus on visualizing the zone. You can either charge with a button or the right stick. I recommend the stick. It allows you to check your swing more consistently. Shorten up with two strikes. With two hung on you, it's vital to choose your swings wisely. I will almost always go with a contact swing here and put all my cognitive ability into deciphering where the pitch is and whether to go after it. Maintain your mindset. If you need a minute to collect your mindset, step out. Remind yourself of the critical procedures, step back in. Always be confident at the plate and forgive your mistakes. You can't change them now, and hitting is hard, so no worries. There's my top 8 tips for improving as a hitter in Super Mega Baseball. If this is a lot different from your current approach, don't try to change all at once. It will be overwhelming. I recommend working on one to two things at a time and prioritizing tips further up the list. Obviously, you don't have to be perfect to move on because no one is ever perfect or they would never make an out. If you're gaining some comfort, challenge yourself with the next tip down. I don't want anyone to stress out or anything. The game is very fun and we should play it in a way that maximizes our fun. But if you're at all competitive, and I think you might be since you're playing a sports game, it's fun to see yourself improving at something. Let's challenge ourselves to get better. I'm interested to hear about your hitting tactics in the comments, and let me know if you want more tips videos.